Alright, so this is Mnemonic, and we are <laughs> in Stanton Labs. I uh, had a question on the forums about running SCS1 and SCS3 at the same time. Uh, it used to be a really big problem because before uh, the new tractor came out, you'd have to modify the preset in order to do that, and that's kind of a pain in the ass. So, good thing Tractor updated their software, came out with a new version, and one of the cool things in this version, I don't know how great this video is going to come out, but uh, in the controller manager, when you open setup, there's actually an option to add, right there, another device. So you can select generic MIDI or some of the built-in devices that Tractor supports natively. So if you select generic MIDI, it'll clear it out and give you a new MIDI device. And you can see that I've already got uh, the generic MIDI for SCS3. And then I've created, and you see I put that little SCS1 there, a generic MIDI for SCS1. And uh, all you do is, is once you create that new device, you load the TSI just like you normally would. Another option is if you've got the TSI, like let's say you've configured uh, this for uh, SCS3, then you want to add SCS1 to it. You can click on Add, go to Import, and select your TSI. It'll automatically uh, create that. As long as the MIDI devices and stuff are stored in the TSI, it'll automatically create a new device for you. Once you have that, let's close that out. You can see that I have SCS3 and SCS1. If I press play, let's move the crossfader over. So obviously we have control here. You can also see that all the feedback works. So if I reach over, you can't see this is off camera, if I reach over and press stop, well there we go, it's, it's out, back on, I can press it here, and watch I'll do that on the SCS3s. So everything coexists really nicely, in fact, like if I move the crossfader on the SCS1, you can see the LED feedback right here reflecting. So let's bring that over. Now, one thing I will warn you about here, because these faders are not motorized, you run the possibility of getting out of sync between this device and this device. It's one of the benefits of having a touch surface here. So for instance, if I put the crossfader over here and then bring this there, we're on opposite sides. If I move this crossfitter, you're going to hear a jump. Now there are some soft takeover options in the tractor setup that will help you deal with that issue. But uh, it, it's the only problem that really I can see. Otherwise, these things live really well together. And uh, it gives you, like let's say you want to control effects on this while you've got your... I can uh, turn on some effects here. A little reverb. Just gives you an idea. Um, all of your other things, like if we want to go to browse, the other great thing is, is you've got easy access over your browse control using the knob on the SCS1M and uh, in general it's a really good setup. Um, so again what that was is going into Tractor Pro, open your preferences, go to your controller manager which is close to the bottom there, go to devices, let's get closer here, and click on devices you have your generic MIDI that we've been setting up toward uh, either your SCS1 or SCS3 owner by default you just make a new 
device and you load your TSI into that device. And that's it. No mucking around with the presets or any craziness like that. Um, and also this should work if you guys have not just Stanton controllers but any other controller. You got a Novation launch pad or a MIDI fighter or you know whatever you're using. This should help you run our controllers along with any other controllers that are out there and perfect harmony. <laughs> See ya.